We're here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, want to say welcome. Oh, hold up. Oh, my video is that on. Okay, there we go. My video is on. Want to say welcome to Cruising with a Case Handler. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a show on immigration and personal injury. And we're here with the attorneys. I've been touting it all morning on the radio at 6 a.m. Put it up on my Instagram and my Facebook that they were going to be here and they are here now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to actually get your immigration questions answered. And you can actually do that by reaching out to us. Once again, the show is called Cruising with a Case Handler. I am David Squeeze of the Link Up Media Group of Companies. And I implore you all to share if you're watching us on Facebook with as many people as possible. I thank you in advance. And also to the ones listening on 93.5 FM, turn up your radios, text someone to let them know that the attorneys are here. We have Alan E.K. Welcome to the show. You're always early, like 30 minutes early, every single time. It never fails, you know. So welcome to the show, Alan. How are you this morning? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, hold on. I think, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm good. You and you. I am wonderful. I'm wonderful. Thank you. I am, you know, negative with COVID, so I, I'm good where that is concerned. Thank you. All right. And of course, let's uh, say a pleasant good morning. Mr. Madrid, how you doing? Morning. Okay. Good to have you back on the show. Thank you. Uh, okay. Good to be here. Okay. Mr. Pollock, good morning. How are you? Uh, all good. All good. Bright, sunny day. It's going to be a nice day today. And, uh, all good. All is good in the world. All is good. As a matter of fact, it's much better than last year. I was reading a part of the headline today, um, where last night rather, where it said where Biden, President Biden, noted that by May, pretty much there'll be enough vaccines to you know take care of the entire country. That's positive news right there. You know, so it, that's good news. So it is a great day. You know, um, it's good to wake up to positive news. You know, we know that the world is not perfect, but it's good that we're being positive, and I'm very happy that also that PPID has decided once again to extend free phone consultations, ladies and gentlemen, um, where immigration is concerned. The consultation will not be lengthy, let me make that very clear, but reach out to them, get that initial consultation for free. And you've got to reach out to them by calling 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Don't think you're going to get on the phone with them, ladies and gentlemen and be there for half an hour, be there for 20, 30 minutes. It's not gonna happen. So let me preface that. It's not going to happen. The key is to get your immigration status sorted out. If you are serious, get that initial, initial consultation for a few minutes and then just hire them. Let them do the dirty work. Let them take the heart out of it. Once again, reach out to them. You want that free phone consultation? 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529 invest in yourself all right with that said let's get into some uh immigration news from our own alan ek esquire right here on cruising with a case handler and of course once again ladies and gentlemen the phone number is 844-774-3529 844-PPID law and also remember to email news at ppid.com so this way you'll be updated each and every single month, multiple times, as to what's happening with immigration and also personal injury. See, now we've got the top personal injury attorney right here on this station, Adam Handler, as a part of this show, Cruising with a Case Handler. Alan E.K., anything you'd like to say? Okay, I have been on uh, conferences all day yesterday, from morning till night, and I have a lot of material to talk about. <clears throat> okay, health insurance. The health insurance proclamation that the ex-president had put in uh, is still there, but it has currently been enjoined in the federal court. And hopefully the pre President Biden will just take it out, but it's not revoked yet, but it's enjoined. Public charge. Public charge is supposed to be decided by the United States Supreme Court. That's that I-944 form, hopefully the Biden administration will withdraw it uh, because I think they're going to end public charge, but that'll take a little bit of time. Okay. Now we know that the immigrant visa ban has been revoked. Not the non-immigrant visa ban yet, just the immigrant visa ban. Uh, the non-immigrant visa ban will expire on its own 
March 31st. I don't think President Biden is going to extend it. And theoretically, he could revoke it before March 31st. Now, the fact that the immigrant visa ban is revoked means that there are a lot of immigrant visa cases can now be processed by American consulates. However, there are when an immigrant visa case a petition is approved, it gets sent. If you're going to get your immigrant visa at the American consulate, as a lot of people listening to this program will be getting it for themselves or their relatives, it goes to the National Visa Center first. The National Visa Center then schedules the appointment at the American consulate. Unfortunately, there are 473,000 immigrant visa cases sitting at the National Visa Center ready to go. The only problem is the posts cannot really take them because of a staffing problem. Uh, so you've got this big backlog now of immigrant visa cases sitting at the National Visa Center, 473,000. Uh, there are probably the conditions in the home countries. There are a lot of American consuls that went home because of COVID. So we've got a problem with that. Okay, now, um, so statistically, as of January 2021, 387 consular cases waiting for it, 387,000 cases waiting for interview, 312,000 are family cases. Now, this is something from a speech given by an assistant deputy secretary of state recently. And she says this, we have prioritized the processing of immigrant visas, full stop. But we'll continue to prioritize the process of immigrant visa cases for spouses and children of US citizens, including fiance visas. But she says this, in January, which is, I just said this, but to, to, to emphasize in January, 2020, there were 75,000 immigrant visa cases pending at the National Visa Center ready for interview. 13 months later, February 2021, 473,000 six or seven thousand six or seven times greater and it gives you an idea about what's have been happening because of the pandemic and because the immigrant visa can now ban is now done so this doesn't even include cases that are already at the american consulates waiting to be interviewed or applicants getting getting, getting their material together so we're going to have a problem at american consulates where you're waiting for your immigrant visa case to be scheduled and who knows how long it's going to take. Very interesting. All right, so here's what we're going to do, um, Alan, all right? Uh, yeah. I'm happy that you're here giving us all these updates. Once again, folks, Alan E.K., he's um, an attorney, and he, of course, he's of PPID, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and the Seco. And we are here talking on immigration today. Um, evidently, Adam Handler is not on today, and we're on with the, um, the attorneys. Now, I do have a few questions for the attorneys today. Um, we're going to jump into that, Alan, and then we come back and we'll let you tail it off for us at the end, if you don't mind. All right? Sure. All right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the show is called Cruising with a Case Handler. It's a show that is brought to you by the law firm Paula Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. And of course, yours truly at Link Up Media. And uh, each and every single weekday morning at 930, you can catch at least 30 minutes of Law Talk right here on 93.5 WVIB FM. And also, of course, on my Facebook account, David Squeeze Anarchy, the firm's PPID, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico, and the Case Handler page. And yes, we also focus on personal injury. Everyone by now know uh, for the past 15 years that Adam Handler is your man. Let's move to immigration, where the question is concerned. It says here, I have an issue regarding my mother. My sister filed for her in 2006. And after spending 12 years in the United States, she was sent home without her resident card or social security card, which my sister admits that she has. How can I retrieve those documents from my sister? My mother now has dementia. I don't think this is an immigration question. Maybe you guys can. Well, it's, it's not clear what the status of the mother was. Assuming that the mother was a, U, a permanent resident or a US citizen, they're just trying to get documents for her. And that may be possible by going through the Social Security Administration and getting another copy of her Social Security card or, or other documents immigration documents, if she needs them, you might be able to, she might have to file for a new green card, maybe she lost it. Um, you can file in the Freedom Information Act, get a copy of her immigration file. So 
we need a little more information. Probably she should call us for a consultation and we can see if we can help to get those documents for her. Yeah, I see that angle. I see the angle of the Freedom of Information Act where she could potentially get some help because evidently um, the sister is not trying to help out in this situation. Um, all right. Once again, folks, the number is 844-774-3529. Okay, do remember, yes, you can get a free consultation. It's limited. Let me speak Jamaican here now. They won't understand what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Don't call the people and bad them up and tell them, say, you want 30 minutes or hour. All right? No bother with it because I know how some of you yardies get. All right? Do not bother up the people, them. Don't call the people and squeeze says or hour. No, I did not. Squeeze says 30 minutes. No, I did not. Don't lie. Okay? Call them, get that initial consultation for a few minutes and then do the right thing. Hire them like many have. The number once again to get your free initial phone consultation is 844-774-3529. Talk to me on Bridget Ralston. Ralston will talk to you. Talk to him. He'll make sure you get set up. 844-774-3529. Maybe, maybe Nelson understood some of that. All right. My, my mother is a green card holder and filed for my sister, her daughter. My mother is 85 years old and does not work. She receives a small social security check each month. The National Visa Center is awaiting completion of the affidavit of support, but because my mother is not working, the one we submitted was returned with a request for more financial information. I need your assistance with the financial section of the form. Does she need to get a sponsor? See why you should not do it yourself? Come on, people. Anyway, uh, you wanna take that, uh, Conrad? She's going to need a joint sponsor. Um, I mean, the fact that her mom's not working, you know, it, it happens. But she's going to require another family relative or, or, or somebody to provide an additional affidavit support, showing that that person can afford to provide uh, financial support in the event that it's needed. Uh, tax returns, job letters, proof of assets. She's going to need to demonstrate all of those things in order to get that case through. Okay. Now, let, let's, uh, let me ask you, attorney, something. Now... If they had come to the firm initially, they wouldn't be going through this, right? Probably not. I mean, uh, knowing that the petitioner is 85 years old, uh, we figured, I, I would imagine she's not working. I would expect that. Uh, you know, one thing that can be concerned about here, I don't know about the health of the, the mom. Hopefully she's fine. But as she gets on in years, if some for some reason she should not make it through to the end of this case, the case will end. Uh, this case has probably been pending a good 10 years. Um, if something happens to the petitioner, uh, that she doesn't survive the process, the case will die with her. Uh, something to be concerned about there. Okay. A uh, bit of information from the managing partner, Conrad Pollock himself, right here on Cruising with a Case Handler, showing personal injury and immigration, brought to you by the law firm, uh, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and Seco, 60 years can't be wrong. And they're at 225 Broadway on the third floor. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, call him if you would like that free phone consult consultation initial, okay? Make sure you call him now at 844-774-3529. And once again, nothing lasts forever. Reach out to them. All right, here's a question for you, Nelson. My husband left Jamaica on a work program a few years ago. I was told he got married in the USA to get his papers. I didn't get any divorce papers from him. I checked with the Supreme Court here and there's no record of a divorce. I have a son for him. He isn't supporting either of us. How can I get a copy of the divorce papers if you had filed them in the U.S.? Can I report them to the U.S. authorities at immigration? You know, this is horrible. Why do I got to answer such a bad question, right? <laughs> um, you know, we actually, we have done cases like this in the past. Um, you know, unfortunately, the fact pattern provided is probably a little more common than she realizes. You know, Many times people get remarried in the United States when they're still married to their spouse back in their country. Um, if immigration found out, that could obviously be a huge problem as there is obviously fraud, right? right? Because it's pretty apparent they didn't disclose that marriage because had they disclosed that marriage, um, immigration would have asked for the divorce okay, a certified copy or the original copy of the divorce to prove that that second marriage was in fact a real marriage. Um, you know, yes, she 
can contact immigration and basically notify them and tell them, you know, my husband, you know, uh, John Smith, you know, is still married to me. You know, it's my understanding that, you know, he did not disclose this marriage. You know, his date of birth is, you know, if she has his A number, his A number is, you know, an immigration will likely assign that to someone who will investigate the case. Um, you know, again, I, I feel very uncomfortable answering this question. I think they um, should, they should probably just reach out. You know, but it, but it has happened. I mean, we had a case where this lady marries this man, the man gets a green card and, you know, two years have passed and he's filing to remove the conditions and become a permanent resident when she discovers on his phone that he is basically having an affair with someone else and saying, I can't wait for this, you know, process to be over so I could divorce this woman, you know, I really have no feelings for her. Um, the woman hired us, you know, we contacted immigration and, and basically she withdrew her petition because as the petitioner, that is your right, you can withdraw that petition. Um, we withdrew the petition and basically, you know, provided uh, copies of those text messages from the husband's phone. And, uh, you know, immigration wrote us back and confirmed that they withdrew that petition. I don't know what happened to the husband because we did not represent the husband, uh, but I'm sure the husband had a lot of explaining to do. Wow, that's very interesting. That's something I didn't know. I didn't know actually you can withdraw. Yes. So yes. I learned something new today, all right? Once again, folks, th this is the reason why I say to, to everyone that's tuning in on 93.5 FM, I am David squeeze Anarchy here on Link Up Radio. We have this law show every weekday at 9.30 a.m. and also on Saturdays and Sundays, between 6 and 8 on Saturdays and 10 and 2 on Sundays. Yes, you can get a free consultation. However, hire them, all right? No, the consultation, once again, will not last for hours, okay? These are attorneys. They work for a living, all right? This is not pro bono. This is not, everything is not going to be free. So yes, I am giving you, in my opinion, the best possible immigration attorneys, whether that be the Alan E. Case, the Conrad Pollock, the Nelson Madrid, the Andrea Shares, Alexandra Bondikov, the Yees, I could go on. However, you have to take some responsibility and understand that if you really wanna get this done properly, it's not going to be 100% free. Yes, you can go to the consultants. Yes, you can do it yourself. But with everything that's happening, even with our great president, Biden, it's a minefield. It's a minefield, people. So many things can happen, not because of your fault, but because of the system's fault. And we all know about the system. So why not have a law firm or a lawyer representing you? I've gotten screwed with the system so many times. So why not have attorneys do it for you? That's the reason why Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and Misiko is my law firm, and they should be your law firm also. So call and get that initial consultation, which will not last forever. And then you decide, you make the decision, you make that executive decision to hire them. The number, if you want to get a free consultation now, and I would suggest that you call before the top of the hour and book it, set it up where Ralston would reach out to you and communicate with you. Ralston is my Jamaican yard friend. Link him up. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844 844- 774-3529. I'm giving it to you straight. We're not cutting any corners. We're being very honest. We're being very straightforward. Call them, get that free phone consultation, and then hire them. But it's not going to be forever. Once again, 844-PPID law. Here's another one. I have a concern. I am F2A at Potomac Service Center. They're only approving citizens. Is there any way we could find out why they're not approving F2As, the I-130? They are, they are approving I-130s. It just takes some time. When the I-130s petition is approved, it's, it does, it's filed, it doesn't get approved the next day or the next week. I mean, as long as it's filed, you have a priority date that's assigned. So you're not losing anything if it takes them a day, a week, a month, a year to approve it. Your date, your place in line is the day you file. Why it's taking time is you know, because they've got a lot of other things to do. So we would have to find out, and we can help you with that and give us a call for a consultation. We just have to know when it was filed, did you get a receipt, and what's holding up the approval. Gotcha. And by the way, folks, once again, 
reach out to a PPID if you need help. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-PPID-LAW. Make the call, ladies and gentlemen, and um, you can ask for Ralston over there, okay? 844-774-3529. Get that free consultations. And I know for a fact, it's not gonna last forever. Anyway, uh, final one here. Uh, I am a naturalized United States citizen. My sister stayed in the U.S. on her visitor's visa about three months past the time stamped in her passport by the immigration officer at the Miami airport in 2001. She had her passport back stamped and also turned in her I-94 form going back to Jamaica. She then traveled back to America, but was sent back to Jamaica upon her arrival at the airport in Miami and was told she cannot come back to America for 10 years. Is there anything that can be done so that she can apply again for a visitor's visa? Uh, you want to take that, Conrad? Not really. <laughs> I wasn't uh, paying attention. You All can right. have that. Alan? Okay. The idea is that if she overstayed three months um, and then she came and went out and came back, um, if the second time she came back, she was summarily excluded, right. deported from the airport, then there's a bar before she can come back. But we really need more information to find out exactly about the dates and exactly what happened at the airport. Um, so it's not that simple. We, we need more information to see if we can help. This is somebody who should call us for a consultation to see if we can help just to get an idea of what, why, where this 10 year comes from. I, have, I think I have an idea where it came from, but I've got a lot more information. And if, I have, if we have to get in touch with CBP, we have to file in the Freedom Information Act just to get clarified on exactly what happened. Absolutely. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, you know, if you really truly want to find out what your options are, you owe it to yourself to go with, in my opinion, the best law firm there is. They can't say they're the best, but I can. And how do I know that they're the best? I have seen cases and situations where they have helped people, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what this firm is all about. Reach out to them. The name of the firm is PPID, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and the Seco. The, attorney, the attorneys are phenomenal in the immigration capacity, phenomenal in the personal injury capacity and other areas. So before we end the show at the top of the hour, I'm going to give out the number a few more times and then I'm going to ask my colleague here, Mr. Alan E.K., to top it off with the rest of the uh, update that he has. But everyone that's out there, once again, this is squeeze and I'm telling it to you. I've been on the station for 1996 and yeah, we come from sometimes a culture where we are, well, if I can do it myself, I'm just gonna do it myself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your status in the United States is not something to play around with. And that's the reason why we have law firms dealing with immigration. And the one that I say that should be your go-to is PPID. So I'm gonna give out the number, do the right thing, pass it on to someone, text it to someone, share it on Facebook, and let them know that there's a firm here in New York City that is helping people. And remember, immigration law is federal. So it doesn't matter where in the world you are, as long as it has to do with US immigration law, PPID is willing to assist. Call the lawyers. The number, if you'd like to get a free initial consultation is 844-774-3529. Once again, the number is 844-774-3529. I urge everyone call before the top of the hour to get that free phone consultation. No, it's not gonna be some 30 minutes or anything like that. It's gonna be a few minutes. And then I say, hire them, hire them. And by the way, if you do hire them, the consultation fee is waived. So make a call. The number once again, 844-774-3529. But right now, initial consultation is free. You want a longer consultation? I'm quite sure they're gonna say, they, they'll work something out with you, but there's gonna be a cost. But the initial consultation, is free. 844-774-3529. On a can I do not phone up. 844-PPID-LAW. That's 844-774-3529. Before I hand it back to you, Alan, I want to remind you also that the show is called Cruising with a Case Handler for a reason. The Case Handler, he has earned that name, okay? Earned that position on the radio 
and earned being a partner at the firm Paula Pollock Isaac and DeSico because he's truly the top personal injury attorney on this station and in my opinion in the nation. So make that call over there. If you ever get hurt in an accident, you need Adam Handler. You need the case handler. Automobile accidents, slip and fall, mal medical malpractice, construction accident. And that's a separate department from the immigration department. They don't commingle. It's two different departments. The only time they cross paths is, okay, let's say Adam handles, has a case with someone who's out of status and his personal injury. That happens. And vice versa. So ladies and gentlemen, make the call. 844 774-3529. That is 844-774-3529 for the free consultations, or if you need an accident attorney, 844-774-3529. Let's kick it over to Alan. You got about three and a half, four minutes, man. Let's top it off with um, your additional immigration news update right here on the show brought to you by Paula Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. <clears throat> okay, let's start off by talking about DACA. Uh, DACA is still in effect. Uh, there are a lot of steps being taken to prop it up. There's a part of the Immigration Act of 2021, which was introduced by President Biden, has a provision in it which will make DACA permanently. There's also a separate bill which would make DACA permanent. Uh, there's also an executive action by the President telling the administration to do everything they can to keep DACA in effect. On the other hand, there's a, a lawsuit going on in Texas, which would end DACA. So you've got a bunch of things going on which will help DACA. We're hoping this lawsuit in Texas will go down the drain. Whatever happens with that lawsuit, remember the Immigration Act of 2021, which was put in by President Biden, will help DACA. He, the president has an executive order calling for his administration to strengthen and preserve DACA. So there are some good things going on with DACA. Now, changes in the law come, back, come about three ways. They come about through executive orders, uh, which the ex-president did a lot of. He did about a thousand different policies, which were mostly anti-immigration. Changes come through regulation, which is good, and changes come through legislation. So you've got the Biden administration doing executive orders to make good things happen with immigration. If they do legislation, that's even better. If they do regulation, that's somewhere in between. So those are some of the things that will, will be happening. Now, the Biden bill, which is 353 pages called the Immigration Act of 2021, will not pass Congress in its present form. They don't have the votes to pass it in the Senate. But the bill has a lot of different parts, and some of those parts are really favored by both Democrats and Republicans. So there's bipartisan support for parts of the Immigration Act of 2021, not the whole bill. Now, also about attitude, the attitude of the previous administration is we don't like immigrants, we don't want immigrants, we get them out, don't let them in. The attitude of the present administration is we like immigration, we think it helps the country, but the problem is government officials who were active, who were in, in government under the previous administration have to relearn how to be compassionate. And that's gonna take some time for these government officials passing on immigration cases to relearn and not, and get rid of the attitude they got from the president, previous administration and relearn how to be compassionate. Um, now, remember that the public charge is still in effect. You still have to put in the I-944 if you go for an, an interview at USCIS, they're going to ask you about public charge, but right. it's pending before Congress and hopefully, it's pending before the Supreme Court and hopefully the Supreme Court will knock it out or the Biden administration will withdraw it. Again, remember there's a backlog of immigrant visa cases, 473,000 cases sitting at the National Visa Center. American consuls are understaffed. So it's going to, if you have an immigration case pending at an American consulate, it's going to take quite a while until you're ready to be called for your immigrant visa interview. Thank you. Uh, all right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for joining us. 93.5 FM listeners, remember, get that free consultation. 844-PPID-LAW. That's 844-PPID-LAW. Thanks to everybody. 
for watching us on Facebook. It's been a pleasure. It's been great. Um, remember to share what it is that you're watching. I want to thank the marketing team, Zena over at PPIB. I want to thank our marketing director over at LinkUp Media, Alisa Williams and her team for, of course, you know, handling this for us. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you all. Remember, you only need one law firm and that law firm is PPID, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac and Seco. I'm David Squeeze Anarchy, CEO of the LinkUp Media Group of Companies, running LinkUp Radio 93.5 WVIP FM and doing marketing conduits here with you. Thank you all. Have yourself an amazing day. And remember, one number for your law firm, and that's 844-PPID-LAW. That's 844-774-3529. Thank you, Alan E.K. Thank you, Nelson Madrid. Thank you, Conrad Pollock, wherever you went. Okay. And thank you, Adam Handler. You're not here, but we know you're the top personal injury attorney. Have yourself a great day, gentlemen. Thank you. You too. Thank you.